Welcome back and thanks for joining us. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of each new video. In the last video, we went over our process for securing furring strips to the van. In this video, we make use of our experience with aluminum angle to build our DIY solar panel roof rack for under $500. We got a window! Ah, <laughs> uh, we finally opened the garage door. It's actually warmer outside and in there, so oh, yeah. this is how we're gonna eat the shop. So it's Friday today, April 9 and 11 o'clock. Our next video is gonna be continue with the aluminum and the solar rack. So yeah, let's get things done. Hey guys, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to help you discover the most beautiful spots and to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So subscribe and welcome to our channel. And also we have a new addition. Fresh water tank, 30 gallons. 30 gallons. Why did you go with the 30 gallons? More is better. More is better. <laughs> I would have went a little bit smaller, but I guess let's see if this guy fits too. That's why we brought it. We're not going to be installing it, but we want to make sure it fits. The 25 gallon would have been a little bit better and a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there it is. How much was it? Around 300 Canadian. 36 by 15 by 13. So it should fit. What's in, what's out? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Our next step is working on the solar rack. So we're also using aluminum L bars and tubes, but they're a little bit bigger and thicker because it's the roof. And these things we ended up buying locally. So these rails are the ones that are gonna attach to the van. The tube is gonna attach to this railing and the L bar is gonna attach to the tube. So now these things are gonna attach to the van very easily because the van does have M8 pre-drilled holes and Mena is right now on the roof cleaning the roof. We want to clean all these points where we have to put lap sealant before. Yeah. Here's everything we used for this project. We had a prime design for transit roof rack rail system, aluminum angle and an aluminum tube, coated M8 nuts, bolts and washers, a circular saw, a drill, a screwdriver, a ratchet, Decor lap sealant, Loctite, and polyethylene vinyl acetate foam pads to put between the aluminum and the roof of the van just in case it would ever come into contact. So as you see, these are the M8 pre-drilled holes that we're going to attach the railing. There's, uh, I believe, five. The big ones. The smaller There's ones one's is just... All for the electrical? Holes for the electrical. That's it. So we're not going to touch these. We're just going to touch okay, these guys. We have one, two, three, four, five. There's five. Five yes. big guys on each oh, side. Okay. Try not to scratch the paint. Yeah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so cool. We don't need those. So we don't care about destroying the little caps. So you see, now I got a better shot. See the walls are not aligning, so I don't even have a proper angle to get in there. So definitely gotta make a hole. 
Nervous? You? Yeah. We're going to be able to screw it down and man up she did paint it. Hopefully the other holes are gonna be perfect. We don't have to fuss with this. Today is Saturday and uh, we're heading towards the shop. The goal today is hopefully to finish that uh, um, solar rack. I've been looking online to purchase solar rack and they go anywhere from 1500 to like 5,000 Canadian. So it's really, really expensive. I also have seen some cheaper alternatives that people are, are building themselves. And that's the route we're taking. I figure, I don't know, it's gonna be definitely less than 500 bucks. Anyways, it's gonna be time to head to the shop. Mena went to the store, waiting for her. And I see you guys when we get there. So we're back at the shop. Nice day today again. It's gonna be like 24 degrees. So we have until June 7 over here. We might extend it for an extra 30 days. We'll see. Good chance. Man, I got a new mini skirt. <laughs> it's a canvas tool belt. Well, they call it an apron because it's not technically a tool belt, but it costs Hold on. Today's video, we're going to continue with the um, solar rack. We started yesterday and I'm actually happy we started yesterday, even though if we just removed one seal of the uh, van and we noticed that they weren't aligned properly. So we were able to drill. It was actually really easy. The metal so thin, so it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all. It's actually harder to drill on the aluminum tubes that we've been doing than on the van. And the other thing is that we realize that if we have to drill to align the holes, we have to paint, right? Also, we want to put some uh, silicone around it just to protect against water and the paint and the silicone will take time to dry. So this morning, I think our first, first thing that we're gonna do is remove all those covers. Hopefully, no more surprises. I've seen a couple of videos and uh, they do encounter that problem where the hole is not aligned. Some of them just have one like that and hopefully that's our case. This is what my setup's going to look like. Of course, it's not the right measurements. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But just for you to have an idea, and also I'm preparing it because I wanna work this on the ground before bringing this to the top of the van, right? Uh, well, all this set up, definitely less than $500. The most expensive was this kit, these bars that came with, uh, these angles we'll talk more about this later a lot of guys are making their own setup but they're they're using 80 20 right i like the fact that this was a kit the company that sells them they do van builds but for commercial and uh, like for electrician plumbers whatever right so they need those crazy ladders and so on so they actually sell kits for that. I just needed these two bars that are awesome. And the reason why I purchased this kit as well was because of these angles. So you could see that it's slightly bent, about five degrees angle. And this is what is super important. Your van, the roof curves. You might not see it to the naked eye, but if you pay close attention to it, you will see that the roof does curve a little bit so if you don't have that angle you just have it straight while the middle of the van will hit those crossbars these aluminum tubes it will hit here right or it'll be very close and bumps whatever i don't know but you definitely need some sort of angle lifter on that side all right so it stays elevated. 
I actually called the company to see if they would sell these individuals. They do, but believe it or not, they're about $25 each. So you need 10. I might as well buy the entire kit for 250 bucks or whatever that it was, which it was around there. And it comes with 10 of them already and two bars. So uh, their pricing doesn't make any sense. If you want to buy that separately, you definitely got to buy the, uh, the bars. This is special for Ford Transits. I don't think it's going to work on a ProMaster or, uh, I don't know, a Sprinter. I have no idea. I know the kit, it comes and it says Ford Transit. So, so those angles are super important. Then I'm going to tie these tubes to the uh, uh, bar, the kit. And it's easy. I'm just going to drill a hole, drill a smaller hole. And it's going to tie to something like this, right? I think we're going to be good. I think it's going to be super solid. What might take extra time is if the holes are not aligned. Are you ready for mystery number two? It's like, what's inside egg number two? It's like a mystery bag. Oh, God. Oh, oh nice. Oh, perfect. Ready for mystery number three? Oh, God. I'll let you unveil it. Did you see it? Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> Do I go buy my lottery ticket? Yay. So did you get the other one open? Yeah, you yeah. can see. Oh. Nice. I'm playing down the middle. The last. Oh, you guys actually get to see it before me. Ah, bingo. The thing is about those holes is that eventually with time that silicone dries up and cracks and it opens up and it creates water uh, infiltration inside, right? So since we're doing the solar rack as well, we're going to silicone all those holes, including the ones that we're not using. I'm not going to go into crazy specifics about measurements because people are going to have different solar panels. But the way we're going to mount it might be helpful. So what we did is we put our L bar on top. Mana got some chalk on her finger, right? Mm -hmm. And then she found a little hole and marked. And since we don't have to cut our L bar, we know exactly where we're, we're starting. So it's all gonna align. And the way we are gonna screw the solar panel to the L bar, we're gonna drill and it's gonna come down like that. So we're gonna have eight bolts. And of course, I'm gonna use Loctite on everything. All right, little Epsi lines. I was just saying a little bit around. So this is like, doo -doo -doo, and I see the hole. Oh, that is beautiful. So this is a uh, Loctite. Yeah. Brand locker. name. So they usually told me to put a little bit on the thread. Ah, oh, it's falling on top of my van. It's like that. Yeah. Okay. So this is it, guys. This is how we're going to install these brackets. So we're going to install three on each side. The solar is sort of installed, it's drilled, it's gonna be easy to do this. The other thing that we worked on was the railings and we had to install them both because we wanted to run the tube across and make sure the middle was not hitting the van. 
and it was a success. Plus, we still have a little play that we could lift. I hope we get to finish this today. I really doubt it though. Uh, Montreal is back on curfew. We have to be home before eight o'clock and uh, we have an hour drive. So that means we have to leave here, be in the car the latest seven o'clock. And it's about 4.30 right now. So let's say five o'clock, we got two hours left. So we're still gonna have dinner and then we're gonna hit that. Oh, this is getting done this weekend. Oh, yeah. I like, I like. You can take that to the bank. See, it look cold. Oh, it's windy. Uh, even though it's warm today, it's pretty windy. So Sunday, yeah, back at the shop, we're going to finish this. Uh, we're going to work on this. No expectations today, guys, but we're gonna work on this. We did a little bit of shopping around, looking for some screws, and uh, I was able to find some at uh, Renault Depot. And uh, yeah, they're zinc coated. Uh, should be better, that's what the guy told me. As soon as I told them that I was working with aluminum, he told me right away that uh, stainless steel and aluminum, they don't, work great together so you recommended those those screws and uh, worst case scenario later on we could always change it again it's just a affordable solar rack that we're doing and uh, i mean we're not married to it it's gonna look good maybe one day somebody's gonna say hey guys i have a solar rack for you you want to review it <laughs> and that thing's gonna be worth like five thousand dollars with all the bells and whistles and trust me I'll be glad to take this thing out. So, quick update. Everything is assembled minus the solar panel so the bolts that we see here this is actually going to be attached to the solar panel three points so one two three but now we're assembling everything because we want to bring it on top of the van because we're going to need to make the holes to attach the uh, tube, the tube bars, so the crossbars to this. So just to explain a little bit what we did over here, these brown bars, black bars, uh, we got it from uh, Prime Design. They only sell to retailers, so we got it through ADNAC, which is a company here in Montreal, but Prime Design, I think they sell all over US and Canada. So if you go on their website, uh, you will find more details about this. Now, we didn't tie it all the way down with the lock tight and uh, the ratchet. So, I mean, it's holding tight and uh, good enough for us to bring it up here and to install it, make sure everything fits correctly, right? So these bars, they came with the angles that I did talk about before. These angles are the most important ones because if you see at the uh in the middle it curves and like you see we don't have much of a wiggle room there it's pretty tight but we are going to put a little piece of sort of like rubber foam it's kind of the same kind of foam that came with the kits so the middle bar even though if it looks pretty close if you see here on the sides we still have 
a little play right on both sides so we're gonna do that but it does clear high enough uh, so I don't need to worry the solar panel already has pre-drilled holes right so we're gonna attach it in three points so to those points where you see the nuts sticking out and of course everything is gonna be locked down with uh, Loctite right so I think it's gonna do a good job it's something that we're gonna keep an eye on it from time to time come up here just make sure everything looks kosher took down the uh, solar rack we're gonna glue that little neoprene thing there all it connects to the van just in case you guys you guys could see and understand so this is the parts the bar that we purchased from pram design um this is just an extension it comes with the kit we don't need it these are m8s and they you know you could move them so you could place your bars how you want it and our bars are the cubes so in other words these and we attach them like that right because the solar panel goes underneath so on, on the opposite side we make a we made a big hole like this so you could actually see through and see your nut there's a nut right there on the l bar all right so it's the same thing and they go and they tie to the van so it's pretty straightforward it's not a very hard job to do just be careful with your metals and your measurements so for our trip today we're going to continue working on the uh, solar rack it's just tying the rack together with the loctite also we do want a silicone all around it and also including the holes where the electrical wires go we're not going to remove the plastic we're just going to silicone it on top Today's goal is just to attach the uh, uh, solar rack together with uh, Loctite and uh, yeah, install it on the roof. You see the fans? Um, I don't see that one, but do you see this one? So 
so the solar rack is done. Really happy how it turned out. I'm moving the van with this, which is pretty awesome. Everything with Loctite, because it's metal on metal, and still accessible to plug the uh, solar panel, which is on the other side. And the beauty of it, like I showed you guys a little bit before, that I still had some lift over here. Now, you could see the difference. It's all the way up. And uh, we still have the neoprene underneath. Yeah, so the rack did its job. We have some serious space there in between, so I'm really comfortable with that. I have to say, yesterday when I filmed it, I was a little bit worried, but then I'm like, oh yeah, I still have some lift, and <laughs> the lift makes a nice difference. So, solar technician, we're ready for you. There's no need to spend thousands of dollars on a roof rack. You know, $500, less than $500. We're super happy. And the beauty of it too, we still got two max air fans, and it's the solar panel is 315 watts. All right, see you on the next one.